Okay. So what are we looking at here guys? I told my man I'd show him a planetary grinder for doing countertops. And we're just going to throw it on this concrete here. It looks like this. It's planetary. It's going to give us a... You work your way up, docking down the stones to where you like it. To whatever refinement you like it out to. 1500, 3000, whatever it may be. But we're as simple as that. Let me turn that towards me. Okay. Now this isn't very aggressive, these pads. Makes you want to put a more aggressive pad on, but let's just go for this right now. show you it's down there this is nice and smooth now I've exposed this aggregate the top of it well this is what it looks like if you can yeah I gotta get you a little tighter than that bear with me bear with me so you can see it's missing holidays and things like that what I typically do if I wanted to bring this up I would use a hundred grit diamonds I know it's 30 on there now but that's resin I go to 100 good diamonds and I really get at it. Um, not this diamond, I use a, uh, this is a 100, but this is on a bigger machine. I, but I'll, for, for fun, I'll put it on this machine for you, but I use this 100 on a bigger machine, but that would I just, I would just hand grind that first. But let's go ahead and knock that out with some 100s. Let's throw some 100 diamonds on it. It doesn't have to be the same size, ideally you want to get it center though seems not too wobbly. Now these are 100 diamonds. Make sure you can see that. I can't see the camera. Okay, yeah you can. Okay, let me zoom in a little tighter for you. Let me zoom in a little tighter for you. These are the 100 diamonds. Of course, you want to get this vacuumed off or cleaned off, but I need to talk to you and I'm only going to do a short video for you. Not that much. Let me, bear with me while I grab the hose. I want you just to stay with me for a second here. Not a hose. I'll just grab some water. I'm just showing you what 100 diamonds can do. Look how nice this is going to look if I wanted to continue this out. So it's knocking it off first. 
and yeah, that, that feels nice. It's still not level. You still want to take this down where you're hitting, unless it's the look you like. If this is the look you like, you cut your losses. But um, you can go down. You can go down even more aggressive than this, exposing the aggregate. Let's see if I can get you a nice, nicer shot. So that's the exposed aggregate, exposing it with the 100 grind, 100 grit. Now, let's go ahead and do it while it's wet, so you can see what the. Uh, it usually will have a this guy on it, stop from splashing. Let's go ahead and let you see it wet. diamonds. Now let's go ahead and rinse that off and let you take a peek at it. If only you could feel the difference. It's a huge difference and it's so simple. Now you could use a you can use a hand grinder but you, you'll probably dig in etc unless you're real good at that hand grinding. Um, you know, just a circular grinder with a disc, a uh, six inch disc or hundred grit. That will definitely eat it up pretty darn nice. Um, Yeah, I like it. That's what it looks like right next to it. That's pretty well, it's got some debris on it, but that's the surface there before, and this will be after coming right about there. So before knocking off those stones. To the stones being knocked down. Now it looks like mapping, as you as I refer to it as, but you still go ahead and hit this some more. It is it mapping, meaning it, it is recessed. Um, there's some there's some areas in here that are still pocketed. You can grout it if you want, and then sand again. But or you can could keep going down, like right here. It's, it's very fine. This little. Make sure you guys can see what I'm talking about. Yeah. This mapping it looks like. To you it looks like a deep crater and all, but in reality it's not. It is, it has been slightly hit, probably with the other 30s that I put on there a second ago, or the other part of the video that it, it crashed. Um, this is really nice. Let me do, let me give you a nice tight shot down on top of it. Let's see if I can do this. So this is very smooth, if you can, very smooth. All right, it's just an illusion that it's rough. Now, over here, well, of course it's got some degree of roughness. This is, this is rough. Here, anywhere I go. Now let's come back here. I'm going to turn the video on this one. Here we go. Very smooth. That's the uh, planetary, planetary one, and that's by, this one is, this brand is, what is this brand? BR HD5 Polisher, Harden. All right, just wanted to share that with you. Terminating video, hopefully, uh, hopefully uh, you'll consider it using for your granite countertops or Something where you just want consistent grinding with you. you don't have to worry about your hand grinding in too deep. 
it's planetary it's going to go even it's going to put even load on it all the way around you just saw it work real fast there um, for reference this was done years ago and I'm just experimenting on it it's all smooth still this was taken out to 1500 and let's see if I can get you in there that was taken out to 1500 you can see the even the slight scratches you can get in there but it's very smooth this is exterior this was exterior I was practicing on um, just setting up showing someone what it would look like and and I use my frequently I use my own little, my own one of my properties is a sample project until it's until I finally get the total look of what I want and I complete everything so I still have a, a great look just takes a little time to get there